Here we are with another episode of the series Sanctified with a Psalm. Today we're looking at Psalm 139, and the hymn is hymn 347 from the LSB. That's hymn 347 from the Lutheran Service Book. Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who went to the cross for us, who shed his blood for us, who washed us clean in that same blood by those holy waters of our baptism to declare us a kingdom of priests, to serve God and his Father to him. Be all glory, honor, and dominion. This is most certainly true. So let it be. Just let it be. As it is. Don't try to do anything about it to make it happen. Don't think there's anything you can do. It is because he promises that it will be, as it always has been, and so you can be sure it is. So believe it. That's how we let it be, among us who confess the same, because we believe it in our hearts. We think about it, we ponder it, we reflect on it, we meditate on it, on what is true. My name's Pastor Gordon Alman of Trinity Lutheran Church. You can find us at trinityscarsdale.org. Let's read the psalm. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in, behind and before. I lay your hand upon me, and such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you're there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you're there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me. And when as yet there was none of them, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast in the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! O oh, men of blood, depart from me! They speak against you with malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? I... And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. So let it be among us. We respond with joy then with another Advent hymn, hymn 347. Comfort, comfort ye my people, speak ye peace, thus saith our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness, Mourning neath their sorrows load, speak ye to Jerusalem of the peace that waits for them. Tell her that her sins I cover, 
and her warfare now is over. Yea, her sins our God will pardon, blotting out each dark misdeed. All that well deserved his anger, he no more will see or heed. She hath suffered many a day, now her griefs have passed away. God will change her pining sadness into ever springing gladness. Hark the herald's voice is crying in the desert far and near, calling sinners to repentance since the kingdom now is here. Oh, that warning cry, obey, now prepare for God away. Let the valleys rise to meet him, and the hills bow down to greet him. Make he straight what long was crooked, make the rougher places plain. Let your hearts be true and humble, as befits his holy reign. For the glory of the Lord, now all earth is shed abroad, and all flesh shall see the token that his word is never broken. So we pray. Lord, forgive me, a sinner. Remind me of your suffering and pain, your stripes, your very death, by which I am healed. Remind me that it is your sacrifice that is my salvation. Thank you for this grace alone which saves. And Lord, sanctify me in this truth. Your word is the truth. And so as the truth promises to set me free, so it is your word sets me free. This is most certainly true, so let it be for again you and for me as we meditate, reflect on his word, which here and now then gives us the peace he promises, and it comes to complete fulfillment in the day of resurrection, even though by promise we are raised to new life as children of God in Christ Jesus by his death and resurrection for us, unto us a child came, unto us a saviour has been given. So the Lord continue to bless your day and perhaps you'll join us next time for another episode of this series, Sanctified with a Psalm. Take care.